Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So today I have for you guys an Ulta haul, try-on style. Don't worry about these, these are clearing up. So, first things first. First thing I bought was the another Eagle Tools Beauty Sponge. I actually, all of this stuff I bought whenever they were doing their fall haul sale event. And so they had everything like 30 to 50% off. And so this sponge, I believe I only paid like two to $3 for it. So I did go ahead and pick up another Eagle Tools sponge. Something always happens to mine. I either rip them or one of my children eats them or something of that nature. So I did go ahead and pick up another one of these. And so let's go ahead and see. And if you watched, okay, so if you watched my um, Ipsy unboxing, you would have seen that I have already used this. And this is the Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. And I got mine in the shade Classic Beige. This I did not get on sale. I paid the six bucks for it. I actually like this more. That's all the product that you get. I actually like this more than I like the liquid foundation. I feel like it sits on my skin better. It makes my skin look flawless. I love the combination that I use. So if you wanna see this in action, check out my Ipsy unboxing video and you can see this in action. Like I said, I did pay like six bucks for this. This was not on sale. It was like $5.99, $5.49 five to six bucks, like I said, and I I love this. I like this more than the liquid one. This is definitely a new to me product. All of these are going to be new to me products, not products that just have come out, if that makes sense. So everything in here is new to me. And I'll also be sharing with you the new products that I'll be using that didn't come from the haul, but I'll mention those as we get into the makeup application. Okay, so the next thing that I have here in the box with me is the, what is this called again? Juvius, the Nubian Juvius Place Palette, and I got the mini. So I have the press pigment, and then it, it has a couple of press, number one, two, and six are press pigments. Number three, four, and five are um, regular eyeshadows. And so this is just what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I paid seven bucks for this, the original price. The regular price is 14 and so you just get like a little palette. It's nice and nude. You get your three shimmers and then you also get your three mattes. So it is very versatile. You can complete um, a few different looks with this. And so yeah, this is what I did get. This one kind of matches my nail right here. And so yeah, this is the palette that I did get. I really love it because this is going to be a full face of first impression to try on. And so the next thing that I got that's sitting right here is this Revlon. And I, ooh, I haven't tried it. This is the Revlon um Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. Now this retails for about 12 bucks. I believe I got mine for like six or seven because I got it during the haul. I mean the sale. And so yeah, I'm excited to try this. I believe Jessica Braun and the Taylor say that this is the Taylor goes by Taylor Win now. And so they actually raved about this. They said that it was an underrated product. So I did, I had been wanting to pick this up because I usually have coupons for Revlon. But since this was already on sale and I was shopping online, like I just went ahead and grabbed this. Now I can try something else from Revlon with my coupons. Okay, the next thing I've got, because people have been raving about this all over um, YouTube is the Catrice Prime and Fine um multi multi-talent fixing mist prepares the skin improves makeup refresh, refreshes complexion and i was debating between this one and the dewy one so i just went with the long lasting one because my elf glow dewy mist is actually a pretty big bottle so i didn't think that i needed another dewy one whenever i'm already running out of my rose primer water and i'm on to my cucumber one so yeah i just thought that it'd be better to get this one Okay, so the next thing I got, and this was on sale also, I believe that I got this for like five bucks, and this is a Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Like I said, all of these products are gonna be new to me. They're not products that are brand new. And this is something that I've seen people rave about constantly before Lash Paradise came out. This was a lot of people's favorite mascara. So I did wanna go ahead and try this because I actually don't like um, the Lash Paradise mascara. I feel like it, it reminds me of the Better Than Sex mascara and that one just flakes off and I don't like it, it smudges and so it's, I'm just not a fan of that one. But I did wanna go ahead and try this because I do like the Carbon Black Telescopic mascara. But since I already knew how I felt about that one, I thought I'd try something new and go with this. Okay, something else that I've seen Jam Beauty brave about is the Ulta Beauty Full Cover Concealer. This was also on sale, I believe I picked it up for 
five bucks. It was, it was really cheap, but this is this this is just what I got. I got this in the shade medium neutral, and the foundation I had got in the shade classic beige. So they actually almost look like the exact same color. I do believe that this is going to be a little bit too dark for me, so I am going to mix in a little bit of my Contrice concealer if that does happen to be too dark. Okay, now for blush, I did go ahead and try out this Essence Satin Blush. I got the shade Satin Coral. It didn't look this shade online. It's a little bit, it has a little bit more of a sheen to it than it shows online, but I did get this because I thought it'd be a good neutral blush for the fall that I could just play with and use. Like I said, I, it looked more matte online, not as shimmery. So maybe that's just like the top layer. I do want to dig into this and try this out. Um, I feel like they used to be smaller than this, but this is actually a pretty good size of blush. Okay, the next thing I got that I've been wanting to try out, thanks to Juicy Jazz as always, she's always getting me hooked on new lashes. I just recently purchased the 614s. And I was going to use this today, but unfortunately I don't have my lash glue with me. So I got the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in this style 01. And just look how full and pretty those look. I did get these on sale also. I think I got this pack for $2. Um, it wasn't high at all, so it's like a dollar a pair, so it wasn't bad. And then I am trying this new brand out for skincare. It's the Formula 10.0.6. And so they were having buy one, get one free, and it was at a reduced price. No, it wasn't reduced. It was buy one, get one free. And so I paid $8.99 for both things because... Um, I like to buy things that are the same price. And so the first thing I got with the Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mud Mask. And this is just the Strawberry and Yarrow, the Skin Refining Mask with Berry Boosters goes straight to work on, on clogged pores. Strawberry and Rosemary eliminate impurities while Yarrow clarifies skin for instant complexion perfection. And so I've, like I said, I've just been having problems with these breakouts. These are just scars at this point, or a dark spot, should I say, because they're actually getting lighter. But every dark spot that you see on my face right now was a really huge pimple. Some of them are still pimples, and I don't know why my skin flipped out. Um, I've been taking better care of it, um, just making sure that I wash it at night, wash it in the morning, and just any time that I've been touching my face a lot, I do go make I do go in and make sure that I try to immediately wash my face, and it's really been helping. So I did need a mask because I was running out of mask. Um, I actually ran out of my charcoal mask. So when I seen this one on sale, on sale, I thought, what better than a pores be pure? Because obviously a clarifying mask is what I needed. And then what I got in conjunction to that was a formula 10.0.6 thirst no more moisturizer fruit complex with white tea quench your thirsty skin with this powerful moisturizer containing a natural complex combination of watermelon lentil and an apple extract hyaluronic acid delivers a second boost of moisture moisture while white tea helps to maintain a fresh and radiant glow your skin will drink it in now i have been using this for a couple of days i can say that i really do like it it's really thick it almost smells like sunscreen but i don't think it has any sunscreen in it it's, and it doesn't linger on the skin it's just um it's just something that I guess the ingredients made up, like the ingredient combination that makes it smell like. And so, yeah, so the next thing I, uh, so that's just what this looks like outside of the package. I am gonna go ahead and use this because I just washed my face, but I didn't wanna take this out of the box because I didn't wanna forget to tell you guys that I bought that. And so, let's go ahead and moisturize our face because my skin is feeling a little bit tight. Like I said, it does feel really good. It really is really hydrating. It's not too thick, but it's not like a gel. It's like the perfect perfect consistency in between. So it's not too heavy for the day, but it's also like not too light for nighttime. So I do use it morning and night. And the last thing I got was this iHeart Revolution Bronze and Glow Palette. So. The packaging, like the outside packaging, kind of copies Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette like this, but then like the drips copy Kylie Jenner's. And so this is just what this looks like. I got, I don't know what shade I got mine in. It just says bronze and highlighted. It's not really a shade. And so this is just what I got. And <sighs> so what I was saying, like the drips copy like Kylie's packaging, but like this is the bronzer, this is a highlighter. I wish the bronzer would have been bigger than the highlighter. But who am I to complain? It was really cheap. Like I said, I think I got this for, it was like $5, 5 or $6, so not too shabby. And so that's everything that I hauled and that I bought. Some new products that I'm going to be trying on camera today or that I have been playing with, like they're new to me, but you guys haven't seen it on my channel. 
Like I said, these are products that you guys haven't seen on my channel. Actually, one product that's new that I haven't even tried out because I wanted to try it for a first impression on camera. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. I did receive this in my influencer box. Didn't have to pay anything for it. They sent it to me. This is a $38 foundation. And then they did send me the brush as well, which is like a $22 brush or something like that. It's pretty expensive. So this is just what the foundation looks. They sent mine in the shade 330W. And so yeah, I will be trying it out with the brush, but if that doesn't work out, I will be going ahead and going in with the sponge. I'm more of a sponge person, not so much a brush person, but they made this brush to go with this foundation. So I'm super excited to try that out today. Like I said, another thing, and if you watch my Boxy Charm unboxing, then you've already seen this, but this is a Believe Beauty setting powder. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. You get this at Dollar General. It's beautiful. It makes your skin look flawless. There's not much more than I can say about it. And then, of course, I do have some brow products. I'm going to be using the Believe Beauty brow products really fast. I gotta grab them. So like I was saying, I do have the Believe Beauty brow products. These are all of Believe Beauties. It's $5 and under. So I will be using their brow products today. I have a pencil and the gel. And then also what I have from them is this lipstick in the shade Grenade. And it just looks like this in the tube. But when you actually apply it on your lips, because I did try it out one day, but it wasn't the color that I was going for. It is a little bit more purpley. It doesn't look like this burnt orange or burnt red in this tube. So that was kind of a bust. But yeah, so those are all of some new to me products I'm going to be trying. So we can just go ahead and get into the makeup application. So of course, you guys know the first thing I do is I go in and prime. So we're going to go ahead and start with our Revlon Photo Ready pore reducing primer and i'm just going to take this all over my face because i did play with it and it's not like a thick primer it's very very more so like it's got a little bit of slip to it it's a little bit watery i don't know if you guys can tell and so i'm just gonna i did one pump and i'm just gonna rub this all over my face it actually has already added like a nice filter over my skin that I can see so far. And so next, what I'm going to go ahead and go in and do is I'm just going to add in or spray on this Catrice Prime and Fine Primer Setting Spray. That makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with this as well. I feel like a lot of makeup nowadays like has a really clean scent to it. Like if, like I said, if you watched my unboxing videos, I was using the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm Primer, and this smell smell this smells similar to that. It's just like a very fresh, clean scent, which I'm really not mad about. It actually smells really, really good. So now that that is dry, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go in with our brows. So like I said, this is a brow pencil that you have to sharpen. You have to be very careful with this brow pencil. Like I said, you have to sharpen it. Um, it's very dark. I got mine in the shade Ash Brown. So if you're similar to me or you need something lighter, don't be fooled by the Ash Brown. If you need, if you need like almost like a blonde or like a light brown, I would definitely go with a blonde color because Ash Brown is basically dark brown. It's like a cool tone dark brown without being black, if that makes sense. And so we're gonna go ahead and fill our brows in. I swear like no matter how hard I try to like literally just stay where all the hair is, like my brows still look so big. Don't worry, it does look super bold, but it is really easy to just brush out and tone down. It really grabs onto your hair as well as fills in like any blank spots. I actually really like this even though it is super pigmented. This reminds me of a pomade in a pencil if that makes sense. So that's why I say you have to be really careful and really light handed. So that's how fast it is to fill in your brows with this brow pencil. It's super easy, super fast. So if you're somebody who's constantly on the go, but you need like something really fast, I do recommend this pencil. Like I said, it might be easier if you get a lighter shade, something that you don't have to be so careful with and just go ahead and do that. And it actually took me a minute to figure out how to get that to work, um, how to get that to sharpen. Cause you know, like some pencils that have to be sharpened, they come with a sharpener already on it. And so yeah, it took me a minute to figure out how to get that to sharpen. So I guess what I'm gonna go ahead and go in with next is a foundation because I'm not gonna do too much with the eyes since I don't have my eyelash glue. I'm not gonna do anything um, 
Since I don't have my eyelash glue, I can't apply falsy, so I don't want to do anything too dramatic because I do want my eyelashes to still stand out. And it will also give us a very good um, example of how this mascara works. Um, also, you guys know you will see all these lashes that I've been showing in action on my channel and other videos. I'm just sorry that I didn't have it today. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put two pumps of this on the back of my hand. It's actually a little bit thicker than I thought than it would be for a luminous foundation. Like it's not as runny as you would think. It is runny, but it's not as runny. So I am going to go ahead and try the brush and I'm just going to start on the left side of my face and I'm just going to try to buff it in. This is a little bit orange for me, but as I buff it out, it's not as pigmented, if that makes sense. And I just bring it a little bit. I'll just, I'll just bring it a little bit down my neck. I was talking as if I've already tried this. Mm -hmm. It's looking really pretty on the skin. It's definitely not luminous like what I would expect it to be luminous. Like when I think of luminous, I think of like really glowy or dewy. Like that's what I think of luminous, but it definitely is just more of like um, a natural finish. It's not matte, but it's not, like I said, dewy. So I guess it just like makes your skin look more perfect. It's actually really hard to use this brush. I'm not used to using a brush and it's so small. I like a brush whenever I'm in a rush and I can just like swipe, swipe, swipe. So I like bigger foundation brushes. But this brush is not terrible. And I feel like it's blending into my neck pretty good. So this is, um, let's try to add a little bit more covered right here. So I used all two pumps on half of my face with the brush. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try to cover that pimple up right there, add a little bit more coverage. So I, I'm not mad at the brush at all. Like I don't see brush, I, I don't see brush strokes. And now that I see it, like there is a really pretty glow to the skin. So this is with foundation. Like I said, I have a lot of breakouts, so I have a little bit more to cover up than you may have to cover up or anything like that. So this is with foundations. I have a natural contour, like there's like a literally a natural shadow there. My mom used to always think somebody hit me and she's the one who gave birth to me, but I have a natural shadow there. And as you see, there is a really pretty glow. So it's not dewy, but it does add a glow to your skin, which I like. Sometimes dewy can be too dewy and it's it tends to like slosh around on your face. And so I actually do like this. And then this is without the foundation. So I actually covered and perfected. Okay, like seeing it side by side, like this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah, I'm not, I can't be mad about it. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do my other side of the face with this brush just to go ahead. Like he's, I'll try it out more, you guys, and you'll see it more in, in action more. And I'll try it out with the sponge as well. But for today, just because this is what it came with I, and what the brush is made for, we are gonna go ahead and do it with a brush. And I think that was like a lot of people's complaint about the foundation brush is like, it's just small, but I'm not complaining because like, Okay, I don't want to say I'm not complaining. I am complaining. Like I said, how I feel about the small foundation brush because I usually only use foundation brushes if I'm in a rush. So I need them to cover a lot of surface area at once. So something like this, I really like. Or even something like this, like that big where I can just swipe it really fast. Like I, those are the kind of foundation brushes like I typically go for if we're gonna be honest but yeah like I'm really excited that I actually did receive something like this for free and like I said I got it from Influencer if you don't know what Influencer is it's an app where you basically get on there you join a community and they send out box box boxes every so often and what a box box is is products that you can try whether they be makeup whether they be for your children it's just products and samples that you get from companies and all you do is get on this app and you review products that you've used or you ask a product or you ask questions about a product that you may want to try and it's just a community that's all about makeup and it's from time to time they'll email you saying that they want to send you a box but you only have so long to respond to that email and so i responded to this email just in time and they were asking me like what am i like what is my foundation shade like typically like what um, what what is my shade and other foundations and so this is what they matched me with and i'm not mad about it because it does match pretty well like i said it does look pretty orange and yellow when it first goes on but just drag it down the neck a little bit a little bit on the ears and i really like like my skin looks good you guys like 
great amazing i'm gonna take a little bit of this on my eyelids just because i look crazy in the screen so yeah my skin looks great and good you guys like i have no complaints whatsoever sorry if you can hear my kids so yeah this is what would i'm not mad like i'm really happy that i got to try this out for free i'm liking it so far i'll keep you updated in future videos if you keep seeing it in future videos obviously i like it if you don't maybe i'm having some problems with it but i'll keep you updated like right now my skin looks really pretty it's not sitting on my skin really ugly or anything like that so we'll also see how it sets so the next thing we're going to go ahead and go in with and try is this ulta beauty full coverage liquid liquid concealer in the shade medium neutral now i may have to return this because it might be yeah this is way too dark so um i am gonna go ahead and still use it oh it doesn't look that dark like on camera i am gonna go ahead and use this but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add in just a tiny bit i'm gonna go ahead and add in just a tiny bit of my catrice concealer and this one's in the shade light beige i'm just gonna put like a little bit it's not very much darker than my catrice like at all but it helps to add just a little bit of brightness so i was going to take this back but i might not just because i mean i have concealers that are way too light for me so this would be like a good mixer so now i'm going to use my sponge i don't like brushes for concealer it's just not my thing as well as for powder so we're going to go ahead and take the sponge and we're just going to go ahead and start blending that out I added the tiniest bit of my liquid camouflage concealer because it's concealer I like for one. And for two, I didn't want it to mess with the other concealer that much. Whoa, that is coming off my nose. I don't know why. It is coming off my nose. You guys can tell. I think you can tell how it's coming off of my nose. I'm going to take this on my eyes a little bit. Oh, I, I was able to fix it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I was able to fix it. So, not too bad. Don't know what the heck happened. I think it was a sponge, maybe. I think my nail grazed it. You see that makeup on my nail? I think that's what happened. I think a nail grazed it. I'm gonna take this nail polish off these nails. Now, I am gonna go ahead and go in with my Believe It Beauty powder. I love this powder. Um, it makes, it gives you this very, I've only tried it with the Believe Beauty foundation. So this will be my first time trying it with a different foundation. But like I said, I know how it is. I know the effects of it. So it usually gives me like a really nice flawless finish. It makes your skin look poreless without it looking powdery or cakey or anything like that. And like I said, the Believe It Beauty line is at Dollar General and it is, everything is $5 or less. They have lashes, face powders, like bronzers, highlighters, blushes, lip products um did i say brushes sponges setting sprays primers like you can go and get a full face and like i said everything is five dollars or less and that is at dollar general the believe beauty line and as you can see like it just makes your face just look so stinking pretty poreless flawless every other is words okay okay so, like I said, I love that powder. You guys can see, like, it makes my skin look... My skin... Ooh! Guys. So, I'm going to take this Nubian, my the Nubian by Juvia's palette, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and I'm going to be buffing that into my crease. And... See, I'm going to take this Moda crease brush. Kind of powdery. Take it on the outer corner and just into the crease. Also, if you guys don't follow me on social media, you should because I did ask you guys what foundation you would like to see in use in this video because I the only foundation I purchased was the Wet n Wild foundation stick. And I figured a lot of people wouldn't want to see that foundation just because it is so old. Like I said, it's new to me. It's something that I've been wanting. And then when I had the opportunity to buy it because I don't buy makeup often, but when I do, it is, you know, I do like to buy things that I've been wanting, not things that just came out because I don't want to waste my money on something that's probably not good. So I like to wait a while till everybody has their had their opinion on it. Their, the reviews have been done on it. And I know a little bit more about the foundation. So that's what I did. Okay, so I will be taking this more precise brush right here. And I'm going to go in with this like cream, orange cream shade right here and do the same thing. 
so yeah um i kind of figured but i thought you guys would want it was like between this one and the believe it beauty one but i believe the believe it beauty one got like a no and the abh one got like all yeses so i did go ahead and go with the abh one in this video but if you check out my unboxings you can see the other two foundations in use in action and just looking beautiful and flawless something about my skin today like it just keeps looking beautiful and flawless my skin feels a little bit itchy, but I'm not sure why. It could be because of how many times I've had to wash it today. Okay, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing anything dramatic on the eyes because I don't, I, I don't have a way to apply falsies today. So that is it, just those two shades. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this pressed pigment right here and apply it to my eyelid. I, my sister bought the big Nubian palette, like the full size one, and I used it on my anniversary night. And that is also another thing where I was just like, okay, like I really have to try this palette because they, they're they creamy, they blend, they look beautiful on the eyelids. They lasted all night, did not crease, did not budge, anything like that. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and go in with is we're gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. Sorry if you guys can hear my kids fighting, you probably can't. I'm probably apologizing for no reason, and I'm probably gonna mute the parts where I'm putting on makeup and it's silent and add music, so I probably can't, but just because. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Carbon Black Voluminous L'Oreal Mascara, and this is just a packaging I like, and this is just a traditional mascara wand, and so we're gonna go ahead and start coating our lashes with this. So far, I'm liking this one more than I like the Lash Paradise. So I think I just found my new favorite mascara, like, cause this adds, this, this enhances every single one of your eyelashes. It's not clumping them together, it's thickening them, it's lengthening them, and they don't, they don't look bad and that's just two coats. So I do want to go ahead and add another one. Yet again, still looking prettier the more that you add. I am going to stop at three just because I do feel like it's getting a little bit too thick for my liking. Okay, so next, um, let's go ahead and do the lower lash line and I'm going to use the same shade, same brushes. So the first one I'm going to go in with is this shade right here and run this underneath the lower lash line. And then going in with that cream orange shade, that orange cream shade. Okay. And then coating the lower lashes and we'll see how this mascara does on the lower lashes. One, one coat of this on the lower lashes. Perfect. Perfecto. Perfecto. Okay, now I'm going in with the bronzer palette, the bronzer highlighter palette. Obviously, I'm going to be taking this side to bronze up my face. I'm just going to be using this Real Techniques uh, stippling brush. And, ooh, a little bit powdery, a little bit more powder than I expected. Now, I always have a Superman curl. It don't ever fail. That's it for that. And now for blush. Like I said, we're taking this Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Coral. This is just what the shade looks like. It's a little bit more shimmery in person than it's showing up on camera. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number two brush. I'm going to put this candle out because it's making me nauseous. Okay, so going in with the blush and we're just, ooh, why is everything so dang powdery? Ooh, that's really pretty. You don't need a lot of this. And it doesn't show up as shimmery on the skin as it looks in the palette. So like I said, that's, that's good. Not shimmery, sheeny, shiny, glowy, I guess I should say. Okay, so that. I think I chose really good products. Like I haven't been mad at anything. Empty thing I haven't been mad at. Okay. I'm gonna have to hurry because I've been fussing and fighting with this all day long. So let's go ahead and go in and highlight. 
And I'm gonna use this shade right here. Where's my other highlighting brush? Ooh, okay. Not bad for a little $5 duo, five, $6 duo, maybe seven. Somewhere in that range, five, six or seven dollars. Not bad, I just highlighted the mess out that pimple. Not bad, I like that. Okay, so now for lips, we're gonna go ahead and go in with our Jordana lip liner in the shade Cabernet and liner lips. Okay, one thing I'm noticing about like my face products right now is that like it's starting to like settle and not in a good way just kind of making me look a little bit old okay so for lipstick now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the believe beauty lipstick in the shade grenade and like i said this does not look whenever you pull it out how it looks in the tube like that's not the same color okay so the last thing we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in and curl our lashes one last time if you're scared to curl your lashes after mascara don't do it i just like it i like the effect that it gives them and i feel like the mascara helps it hold a curl last but not least we're gonna go ahead and go in and set our face with this guys i almost forgot like always to set my brows so i'm gonna go ahead and do that really fast Okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I literally cannot complain about anything that I've used today. I've loved everything. The only thing was just this tiny little brush. I, If you're in a rush, this isn't an ideal foundation brush because that's usually what I use foundation brushes for. But other than that, my skin looks great. Everything's looking great. Everything's sitting great. My pores look flawless. This is a lip, it's gonna wear off as I eat. It's not getting on my teeth. Um, it's not dried all the way down, so it does still transfer. Um, so yeah, you guys, this is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, comment down beno below if you know what Star Laboratories is from. If you do, we can definitely be friends. If not, where, where have you been? And so, also go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. But Jesus loves you more. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.